Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is December 2nd, 2022. Um, this is just me doing an extra bonus question to refresh. Let's see. Let's do uh let's do an, mm, mm, yeah, let's do a hard today. We have, um, you know, it's a Friday. I'm doing it a little bit early today. So let's get started. Um, let's not do an SQL problem. So let's pick another one. Okay, 1153. It's a premium prompt, so sorry if you're not a premium person, but you could hang out with me and watch this and we'll solve it together. 1153. String transforms into another string. So given two strings, determine whether you can transform string one to string two, zero or more conversions. What's a conversion? In one conversion, you can convert all occurrences of one character to any other lower case. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Okay, I mean, I've, it has to be from string one to string two. Um, I think this one is just something that you have to be super careful about. I think the idea is not that bad, but I think the idea is to... Um, oh, the order, wait. Well, the order matters, but I'm also just trying to see. Um, I think I misunderstood this one actually uh, initially. Sorry. Um, what I meant to say is what I thought was just to count the characters, which in this, because I think I, I was thinking of a, um, uh, a different problem, to be honest. I was thinking about the count of the, 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 the alphabets and converting them. I think there's a similar problem. I don't need code or maybe it's code force that I've done, but this is not that. So, okay. Mm, so the order matters in that, in theory, um, if you go from A to C and then C to E, then obviously that's no good, right? I mean, so the way that uh, we have to figure out how to do it is just, is going to have, um, my, my initial guess is that it's going to be some sort of topological sort on the, on the graph, um, but I'm, I don't quite know how to how to formulate it quite yet right now. Um, and what I mean by that is that from here to here, you know that there needs to be a C to a E maybe? Is that even, I mean, I guess technically we, we definitely, like if I were to, I'm, I'm working it out right now verbally because uh, I don't know the, the answer immediately. Um, also given that 10, uh, N is 10 to the fourth, you know, we have to do something not that bad, but but I, I think it actually doesn't matter in this particular case, only because um, what matters is the size of the alphabet. So we we'll probably maybe do something like 26, you know, 26 square, 26 cube, or even 26 to 4 or something like that. Should be okay. But, and that's my kind of just like looking at the constraints. But yeah, um, what I mean by that is that technically, yes, you want to get from C to E ultimately, but in theory, Maybe on a similar problem, you may, maybe you do like C to B and then E or something like this, right? Um, is there a benefit in that? I don't know that there is. Because, <clears throat> because you can only make the problem worse if you go from C to B to E, um, because then you... Because, okay, I, I think, so I'm trying to like figure out observations on their own. But basically, for example, what I wanted to say was that, okay, if there's a, you know, looking at this, if you match them up, where you, you know, a very easy observation is that you know that you have to go from C to E at some point. Um, and my thing was just saying that, okay, is there something that, like, does, does it make sense to, um, if we think about graph rhetoric um, or graph visualization, like, Will there be a time where C going to B and then B to E makes more sense? But the answer is no, right? Because I think in this case, you rather decompose them to from C to E and B to E, and then there's no worry about order of operation and stuff like that, right? So in that sense, in that sense, because every, <clears throat> um, almost like, I don't know if I want to call it transitive, but any multi, um, So one is that order matters, but any multi things um, doesn't make sense because, or like every multi things doesn't need to be necessary 
and you know, and if you're forced to, then you have no choice and you lose or whatever. But everything that um, um, every mult like multi-step transformation or conversion um, should not be necessary because you could decompose them into simpler conversions. So that's that's an observation one, and that makes it a little bit simpler because now then you can kind of map these all out. This is tricky though, uh, in just the number of edge cases. So then th that's observation one, right? Um, and of course the order matters like, like they say, because then you could go from C to E um, and A to C, but you have to go from this order, right? Um, and we could do a topological sort on this or something like that, and that's fine. The other way though, of course, is that you can use you can use um, you could use a character that's not in one of the strings. I have to figure out which one that is, in the beginning or or the end, maybe, or maybe either. I guess. And what I mean by that is that, for example, in this case, you can you can make things easier, uh, but like I, maybe that's why there's so many downloads because there are like a lot of edge cases that I'm thinking through. But another way that you can think about um, this problem is that instead of doing this, let's just say you have X, right? Uh, some random, I mean, X is not used here, but you know, if X is used, we can use, use another character. But in this case, we don't have to worry about the order, right? I mean, okay, actually that's not true. We, we do have to worry about the order. Uh, how do, what, what do I mean by this? Well, I guess, well, what I mean by this is that I guess it, it makes it, it makes it possible for us to resolve certain other ones. For example, um, like AACC, CCAA or something like this, then A goes to C and then C goes to A. But this is possible because you can do A to X um, to C. So then, you know, now you go from AA to XXCC and then CCAA and then now, now you do CC to AA and then now you XX to CC again, right? So th th that is one um, thing that we can do if we have an extra one, right? And basically, we don't actually have to do the topological sort because we don't need the well the output is just whether it's possible. Basically, there are two cases I think I could be wrong because this this is a very ad hoc problem. So there are two cases. Well, one is that obviously we have to do the mapping and every every x has to map to y and so forth, right? Um, from string one to string two, but. We don't actually need the topological sorting as long as there's no cycles. Or if there's a cycle and less than or 25 is used. So, and then, you know, that check about, um, you know, because, for example, leak code, there's no way to transform because you cannot, you cannot, tra excuse me, cannot transform a Y to an O and a D at this, you know, that's just the way it is, right? So, okay. Let, let me keep this here so that I can... Uh, I don't know, because I'm going to forget. So the two cases, maybe. Hmm. So no psychos or psychos plus less than 25 characters, or 20, less than 26 characters used strictly. Or not characters, but like unique alphabet, right? Unique character set, right? So first we have a mapping, and this is from uh, string one to string two. So for, I don't know, x, y in zip of string one, string two. Um, okay, so mapping of x is going to be y. <clears throat> we don't have to do anything mapping the other way, I don't think. But yeah, okay. But if X in mapping and and ooh, and mapping of X um, is not equal to Y, we return false because that means that 
we have to map multiple things, which is not possible. Okay, so so far so good. Um, and then now we just have to figure out if there's a psycho, right? Does it have to? Can I let, let me think about this a little bit? Like I, I'm, I say psycho, but I don't know if is it a psycho of length two, or can it be longer? I guess longer is the same, right? Like with A A B B C C. Um, C C A A B B, then it would come with the B to A, then it would come, yeah, so then you can't do it without using an extra character. Okay, so I think any psycho is good. And here, uh, maybe I could have done things a little bit better. Because uh, mm, then we can, because I'm kind of lazy, is what I'm saying. You can, you can do transitive kosher in a couple of ways, like with. Recursion or depth of search, dynamic programming or memorization. The way that I'm going to do it is probably with uh, Floyd Walsh. So, um, so yeah. So, mm, just say edge is equal to um, force times 26. Do, 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 right? Something like this, right? And then here we can do ed edges of uh, or, uh, uh, or lowercase, right? Um, Uh, is to go to true, right? <clears throat> and then now we can do transitive kosher. Uh, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, right? uh, Freud Warshaw, or technically just Warshaw, or maybe Freud, I forget. And this is, uh, I'm not explaining it that much. Oh, that's right, wrong language. Doesn't come up, I haven't used it that much in Python, so yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, wait, well, we don't need it. If, uh, if length of mapping is less than, or you go to 25, then we, we can't, true, because we can use the extra thing as the, uh, you know, and then we solve them. Otherwise, then we do this thing where um, if edges of II, then we return force because there's a cycle, right? And that's just Ford Warshaw stuff. To give a spin, I don't, this is not super confident and maybe I shouldn't have, um, as I was saying. But we got 35 cases, so I think we got pretty far, but let's see what I missed here. I think this does use all 26. Maybe I missed, maybe I wrote it in a weird way, but uh, okay. Well, let's look at the map things. Ah, oh, man. D do I have to case? Okay, good. Even though they, they haven't really uh, incorporated everything in a consistent way. But. Okay, so A, B, B, C, D. Yeah, huh. Well, yee, yee. Oh. I think I messed up on this one per se. Uh, okay. Because then you don't need to transform. Okay. I I, I, I missed the condition because um yeah, okay. If uh x is not equal to y then we do this. Hmm, still not good enough. Hmm. A, B, B, uh, Y is still Y, that's fine, but, hmm, what am I missing, A, B, 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 Y, everything is the same except for the Y, and that's fine, but is there a cycle, I guess there's a cycle, there's a cycle and, oh no, 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 I messed up, it's not mapping, because this could be 26. I, I messed this up. I meant this as in the the reverse mapping, if you will. Um, like set of mapping dot values. Something like that. Okay. I, I, uh, I, uh, silly mistake to make. Though, this one I needed to fix anyway. Because I was just doing self, self cycle isn't a, a thing per se. Um, so yeah. Okay, cool. What I mean by that is that, like, if you have a yi to a yi, you don't need to do any action, right? 
that doesn't make it. I mean, and technically it's a cycle depending on how you write it and the way that I had it before. So that was still a bug, but um, but I also had this bug. So I had two bugs. This one I was just using the, um, because basically you want something in string two to, to use as the, the extra variable to do the swaps, if you will, um, um, and not in the string one because, yeah, it doesn't matter in that case per se. So I kind of used the wrong, wrong um, I confused myself. But yeah, this is, uh, I mean, like I said at the beginning, um, everything is linear-ish, um, but, you know, this is linear and that's pretty much it, right? Um, but it's going to be linear times O of alpha cube. So okay, let me just write it out, right? So time is going to be O of linear plus uh, alpha cube, maybe alpha, I don't know. Uh, for Freud Warshaw or just Warshaw's algorithm technically. Uh, and then space is just O of N plus uh, A square, right? Uh, where A is the size of the alphabet, uh, which is 26 in this case. Um, do I even use linear space? Did I just, I kind of lie? I guess I kind of lie. I, I, well, I mean, different time. I think SIP is a iterator, so I think this is okay. I think this is just this, actually. Um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Uh, silly mistake aside, a couple of silly mistakes aside. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I could see, I mean, I, I get why there are so many negative votes just because I think there are a lot of silly mistakes you can make. Um, and I made a couple of them. But in theory, I think this is not that bad. I think it's just about um, pers preservation uh, and, and kind of, you know, grinding and working through it. Um, cool. Mm, that's all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Um, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.